Hey guys, and welcome back. As you can see, I'm still pretty much bed bound. Uh, this recovery is taking me a bit longer than I anticipated, but we're going to make the best of it. I thought that today we would talk about a good way to control mosquito larvae in our summer tubs, especially in those that contain shrimp. Now, one of the things that I saw before I went out for my surgery was that I was getting tons and tons of mosquito larvae in my shrimp bins. And of course, the shrimp aren't going to eat the mosquito larvae. Now, in the fish bins, they do a bit better job, but I was still noticing a fair amount of mosquito larvae in those. And with how warm the greenhouse stays, I did not want to go back out there and have it become a massive feast for the mosquitoes. Not to mention mosquitoes spread a lot of various diseases, which makes me quite nervous. So the thing that was most important to me was to find a product that was safe for pets, safe for shrimp, safe, safe for fish, that would not impact butterflies, honeybees, things like that, but that would still do a really good job. So I got on the internet and I started doing a bunch of research looking for an organic solution to mosquito control that would be shrimp safe. And what I found was BTIs. And what BTI stands for is Bacillus thuringiensis israeliensis. And while that sounds like a real mouthful, basically what it is is bacteria and spores that are compounded into a bunch of different commercial forms in order to be used for mosquito control. Now, that is certified organic. You can use it on an organic farm. Um, it's totally safe for pets, honeybees, butterflies, all those things that I mentioned. It doesn't stay in the soil or water residually, and it works against black flies, fungus gnats, and mosquitoes, which was perfect because I'm also sort of worried about the humidity in the greenhouse in my pots and having issues with things like fungus gnats. Um, so what I did is I picked up a very commonly commercially produced product. You know it probably as Dunks. Um, what I bought was Mosquito Bits, which is a granulated form. You can also find it in liquid form. I thought that this granulated form would be the easiest way for me to dose my tubs. And I applied it. I checked back on the tubs in about 24 hours and all of my shrimp and fish were fine and all the mosquito larvae was gone. Now how this stuff works is kind of cool. What it does is the larva ingests this product. It, it doesn't work on adult mosquitoes or anything like that. It only works on the larva. And when they eat it, it goes to their middle gut sort of and sort of destroys their ability to have ionic regulation, which causes them to die generally within 24 hours. Now, as I mentioned, since this stuff doesn't stay residually in your water or soil, you do need to redose it. I'm going to be doing it about every month in my greenhouse, but you could do it as often as every two weeks. I think that this is a really great application for people who aren't using any sort of circulation pumps or filtration in their tubs. Um, and I will link below to some of the papers I found saying that it is specifically shrimp, fish, animal, honeybee, butterfly, etc. safe for you guys in case you'd like to take a closer look. The other thing that's pretty cool about this stuff is that it's effective on all pH ranges. Now you have to use a little bit more when you're in the higher pH ranges, but it still works. And so that's great. Now the dosage for this particular product and the reason I purchased it is you can do one teaspoon per 25 square feet. I simply broadcast it or spread it across the surface of the water, let it sink down, and again, within about 24 hours, all the mosquito larva was gone, which has really put my mind at ease when I'm not out there every day to net it out to feed fish, etc. All in all, I think that this is a really great solution for me and for a lot of you. And it's available in all sorts of different... Um, strengths and solutions depending on the size of your bins, tubs, ponds, etc. Not sponsored. Anyway, I just wanted to thank you guys for your continued support. I'm really hoping that by Thursday I'll be able to get out to the greenhouse for some live footage for you guys of the various tubs or at least down to the fish room to show you how things are going there. My husband's been doing a terrific job taking care of the aquariums and the greenhouse and I'm really excited to get out there. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've gently meandered out there a little bit, and I hope to do a short bog and succulent garden update for you guys probably next week. I will be traveling, hopefully within two weeks, to go up to Toronto, Canada for the Peel Regional Aquarium Club's banquet dinner, and I'll also be doing a book signing there. Um, so you can find more information about that on my events page on my website. 
Um, and I just wanted to thank Joey Mullen again, the king of DIY, for doing that awesome video on Sunday. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. He did a species spotlight on Waru for me, which was really, really fantastic. As always, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, and I promise there will be more fish in them soon.